I'm packing my clothes to go away with my bike, but it's not packing to go somewhere warm, it's somewhere cold. Uh, it's basically the Rafa winter weekend up in Carnforth, which is like Lancashire way. Um, and it's gonna be cold, so I thought I would share like all my winter like favorite kit with you because it's not all riding in Tenerife, in bibs and short sleeves and Factor 50 sun cream. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna show you everything that I've packed to take away. It's probably gonna be a bit chilly. So the first thing I wanna start with, um, bib tights. And the main thing I would say for this is if you are female specifically, make sure your winter tights have got a clip, a zip or some kind of fasten or way to be able to have um, or go to the toilet when you're out and about in winter because it is nothing worse than to take all your layers off and then like crouch down with like just your sports bra while it's raining on your back. It's not ideal. I've done it too many times. And so these are why these are my two favorite pairs of uh, winter bib tights. So the first pair, the women's protein winter tights, the Rafa. These are so comfortable. They are just, oh, they're just so, so nice. The main thing is, They've got an amazing magnetic clip fastening on the back. So it makes it easy to go to the loo when you're out and about. So that just clips on there. Uh, the fabric is kind of like, it's quite thick. So these are what I would wear if it's like really, really cold. And there's like three layers to the fabric. And on the front, it's water resistant. On the back, it's more breathable. So you're not gonna get too sweaty. So you can see how the fabric changes, like from there to there. And um, there's reflective stuff stuff reflective strips on them and they're just really comfortable they're like my go-to pair the other pair that i like i've actually tried to find these because i've had them that long and they don't do they i don't think they do the exact same pair anymore but they're universal colors um i found a very similar pair that i'll link also below but these are just really nice they're really stretchy um, and these have uh a zip so Again, these are, I really like this because I always thought I would never want a zip, but actually when I used it, I was like, actually, they are so clever. And actually I thought that they might stretch, you know, like with time, like like pulling them up and down all the time, like potentially on rides, but they, they've kept their shape really well. And the next thing I'm gonna show you is probably my favorite piece like of winter clothing that I have. So if you're gonna buy potentially like, if you're gonna buy one thing from any of my recommendations, it would be this next thing because I absolutely love it for on and off the bike. And it is the, what's it called? The Rafa Women's Pro Team Thermal Base Layer. <gasps> I absolutely love this. So I used to have an Adidas one that I wore for years. It was quite a thick material, whereas this is like, I'm surprised at how thin it is but for how warm it keeps you. So like the inside of the fabric, it's kind of like, I say like waffly, but for whatever reason that kind of just traps the heat in. It just keeps you so nice and toasty. And then the other thing that I love about it is you know that I love a good like neck tube, what are they called, buffs, like whatever you call them, pretty much on all my rides. For winter though, oh, this has got one attached like how nice, oh, it's so cozy. And that's also got the same like fabric. So it's kind of like waffly. It'll keep your neck nice and toasty. And then the other thing, which is just like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> um, that is a little, I guess, loop or a little hole for your ponytail or your plait to go through. So when you have like a buff and you pull it up and you're like, if you have long hair, it basically doesn't fit all the way or you have to put all your hair in it and it just feels like all matted and sweaty and horrible inside. Um, so having that is like such a genius idea. It's just, I wear it like obviously on the bike, I wear it off the bike if I'm just gonna go for a walk or like a bit of a hike. It's just so, so, so nice. Massively, massively recommend that. Can you tell how much I love it? But yeah, really, really nice. So I'm gonna show you two jerseys that I like, my go-to ones, and this is the map, what's it actually called? Force Pro jersey. Really, really, I mean, I love the color, but what I like about this is it's super stretchy. Can you see how stretchy that is? And I think in winter, I don't like things when they make me feel like really, like either really bulky and I can't really move as well. I think that's why I don't really like riding in winter because you've just got like just too much, too many clothes on. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean. But um, uh, yeah, that's just a really nice, comfy, 
jersey basically this has also got like a like a fleecy inside yeah just i don't know what else there is to say about it. it's just really nice and comfy that i would wear if it was kind of chilly um or i would layer it with like a base layer that and then potentially like a jacket or something over the top right so the next jersey is kind of like a jersey slash jacket slash do it all like piece of winter kit and it's the Rafa Pro Team Gore-Tex Infinium jersey and this is like really hard to describe what it is because it fits and stretches like a jersey but the fabric is like a jacket so it's breathable it is windproof and it's water resistant so I guess if you're going to be out in like lots of different weathers then this would be ideal I really like it it does keep you really nice and warm and snug but then if you put in a bit of an effort in it is breathable as well so it's kind of like a do it all like piece of kit so I wear that with the base layer and that is like toasty also it's got um like reflective panels on it as well like there as well on the back it is just a really unusual clever piece of winter kit I really like it I, if you, if you have a Rafa knee, go in and try one on because it's really hard to describe. I should add, it is expensive. And I think a lot of this kit individually, it is expensive, but it's an investment. And I've had like cheaper stuff. And I think specifically in winter when you want it to actually do a job, like actually keep you warm, keep you dry, keep you like sheltered a bit from the wind. Like you do have to pay a little bit more for it. Now we're going to jackets and generally if, um, in the past, I basically want all the jackets, but I will generally now wear the Infinium jersey. However, if it's absolutely like hammering down or if there's potential for like full on rain for hours. Where is it? Oh, I can't find it. And it pains me to say because they don't make this anymore. It's a shake dry jacket. I love this thing. Like, I actually love this thing so much that when I flew back, I took it to Tenerife. When I came back from Tenerife, I kept, I kept, I put all my other clothes in my bike box and I kept this in my hand luggage because I wanted it with me at all times, just in case. Anyone else got any suggestions because they don't make it anymore, I want to be able to recommend stuff that you can actually like still buy. So if you've got a really good, amazing rain jacket, leave it in the comments. And then the other jacket that I wear in winter if it's cold, like, and this is if it's like absolutely Baltic and I'm not doing like a club ride that might be quite fast. If I'm just going to kind of go out like, just more steady. This is actually good for club rides if you are um, gonna have like a cafe stop or you just wanna wear it for the start and the end where you're just kind of warming up and it's this. Ugh. Again, you know how much I love this. <gasps> I'll put it on to show you. It's a Patagonia. It's a Patagonia micro puff hoodie. I love this thing. I love it so much. It's literally like putting on a little sleeping bag. It makes you so nice and toasty and warm. However, like if you're gonna be doing like a club ride, it's not ideal because it's it, you're gonna to be too hot in it. And then because it's synthetic, um, like loft insulation, like it doesn't matter if it gets wet, like you can actually put this through the washer. I know some down jackets you, you're not supposed to get wet, uh, but this one you can, you can wash it, you can get it out in the rain. It is um, water resistant, it's not waterproof. So yeah, just bear that in mind. But this is one of my, absolute favorite purchases that i've ever 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 made on or off bike clothing i love it so much then we come on to shoes these are the shoes sorry it's a bit sun's come out Woohoo! these are shimano mw5s i've had these for maybe three or four winters now and when it where it starts it's getting a little bit chillier i just put these on because they're just so nice and cozy they've got like a, i don't know if you can really see it's like a little like they're almost like fleecy inside so they are really nice and warm and yeah they're just they're just really nice and also what i like about having these is it just saves my like summer riding shoes just make them last a little bit longer because like once you get like them rained on fully and they're just fully saturated and soaked they just smell a bit like dog so like i just like having these just so that like i can separate them up and these actually I've, I've checked they're a hundred pounds at the minute they're on offer so I'll leave a link to those they've got loads of sizes in as well um but yeah they are just a really good 
buy. And there's one other thing that I want to add into this, because I do always wear it if it's like actually freezing cold and I can't find it anywhere. It's my balaclava. I've got like a cycling balaclava. It's made by Grip Grab and I'll leave a link to the video where I've actually, you can actually see me putting it on so you can see what it looks like. But that is so nice warm. It's got like little air holes like for like around the mouth. It's just really, it's like fleecing fabric. It's just super nice, super cozy. So I'll leave a link to that below. There's also two categories that I've not included in this. And that is gloves and socks. Because I currently, I've not found any that I absolutely love of either. So for like winter gloves, I think I've got some really, really old Altura ones. I just kind of put up with, they don't really keep my hands that warm. So let me know. I need your recommendations for gloves and socks. Also, I've seen this bike for a while, have you? This is my CGR tie. I've got my mud guards. This is the bike I'm going to be taking for the winter weekend. And yeah, I guess the other thing just to mention really briefly, because I know a lot of people will be like saying, oh, that kit's so dark. I always have two lights on my bike in winter just for like extra visibility. So I appreciate it, but yeah. I would also say that for any of you, just have like two lights on your bike just for extra vis visibility. And if one of them like just stops working for whatever reason, and the lights that I've got are the Exposure Trace and Trace R on this bike. Oh, actually, no, that's the, the Boost, I think. I'll leave a link to them as well if you are interested in lights. Also, one thing that um, I should say about socks, I found nice off the bike socks. I've still got my winter, I've still got my festive Christmas socks on. Ta -da! They wouldn't be ideal for cycling though. I think Santa's nose would get stuck in the, in the boot. Okay, <laughs> see you next video.